the Cockroach family. That's awesome. Now, uh, how did you guys get started doing this this music thing? Who who came up with the idea to do music, and then who came up with the idea of going, oh, we need to have a band. Throw the band together. Um, well, our dad. Our dad. Well, they grew up around the, the studio, so while I was working with a lot of artists, a lot of musicians, and, you know, I suddenly picked it up, and, you know, they started singing around when, they, when they're young, because we started, like, about five years ago as a, a group, but about three years ago, they picked up instruments, and each one, you know, she because she was singing, she got the bass, she wasn't singing, she got the drums, and he was the guitarist, but then we added the two little ones, and... Uh, you know, we've been very constant every weekend performing at the, the at the pier and, you know, little gigs and, and here and there. And then we decided that this year we're going to, we, we have a, a cover song album of covers, but then we've decided to write original songs. Yeah. That's pretty so right cool. now they're in the process. It is. It is, it is always a process. And uh, sometimes that process can be uh, very time consuming and, uh, and sometimes very freaking annoying. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, some great guests with us today here on our broadcast. Now, um, so so when when you when you got everybody to start to play their instruments and start, uh, how, how fun was it to, to to learn to play the drums? I bet I bet that was not fun for anybody in the house because you're banging away on the drums constantly. But uh, take me through that experience, there, my friend. Uh, well, it was very exciting, and I really, um, I really liked the drums, you know, but, like, one time I was playing the drums, like, early in the morning, and our neighbors came knocking on our door, Fantastic. like, couldn't stop, you know, and so, but now I have, um, electric drum set, so it was, like, a lot quieter, but, I mean, I that still can awesome. keep playing the drums, because it's just exciting and fun <laughs> for me. That is awesome. So, uh, so, so, so at least, at least you got some instant feedback, albeit from the neighbors, but you got some instant feedback on, on, on your drum playing. So that, that, that is fantastic. Now, um, tell me about social media. Who, who is the, uh, who is the social media person in the, uh, in the group who handles all that? What, how does that all work for you guys? Uh, the, the Christie's, uh, usually, you know, my wife's kind of manages, and when they uh, take photos or videos, she puts them on, on Instagram or uh, Twitter or Facebook. I do it sometimes, too, when they use my phone camera, which is logged into their uh, uh, account. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, the, but the ideas, uh, for example, rehearsal, when we do, like, live videos of rehearsals or uh, in Santa Monica, we just stream it live and, and put it on automatically. Which is, uh, but they all have each one their own account of uh, using, and the Christie's is usually for for music that they post post stuff for the music aspect. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Now, uh, when, when with you guys putting all all your music out there and performing, what what what's been some of the reaction you guys have gotten to uh, to your music when when you're out there performing, or, or like you said, you're 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 usually performing every weekend. Uh, what 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 the heck's that like? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people there that really like it, and um, sometimes they they dance in front of the crowd like crazy, and then like sometimes the stores like shops usually complain. Uh, <laughs> they complain it's too loud. That's awesome. Too rock and roll. It's too. <laughs> Heavy, yeah. Uh, we get a lot of, so, you know, because on the pier they have regulations and sometimes the, they get very big crowds. They're the only rock family band on the pier where, you know, around what, like 50 to 100,000 people come a day and they get big crowds wow. and, and, and they block the whole pier and then the cops come and say, hey, well, you guys got to control the crowd because it's too many people and we can't pass mm -hmm. through. So we always have to announce, everybody, please come closer. You know, in case an emergency, we need to have access. So they do come closer, but then more people come. So we, we go through a lot of struggles, you know, being a rock band, because uh, people, you know, they, they miss the rock and roll. You know, today all the, the young people do this pop music, and and there yes. I, I feel that people want the rock, you know, playing live music. Uh, we don't play anything with playback. Everything is live. The, the electric guitars, distortion, bass, drums, nothing is playback. 
vocals raw as it is. That's awesome. That is That's fantastic. Awesome. People love that they put a, a, the, the a Route 66 album out uh, in the summertime, and they already sold over 500 CDs. Wow! And so, uh, they're doing really good. They, you know, and we're really excited. That's that crazy. I think when we have the original, it's gonna be even better because yeah. it's dumb. Yeah. Now, uh, to tell me a little bit about the the uh, original song you guys have out there, Fever. Tell me about this. Okay, you want to hear how it first started? It was funny because okay, say it. Uh, so it's funny how it first started because when we when we first uh, made the song, we uh, wanted to name it Fever because Justin had a fever, and <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, about it. And the riff that uh, Samuel was working with, and I, I was I was hearing it. It was very, uh, you know, strong riff, and that's what, like, Fiba, you know, it came up to be a strong rock, rock song. But based of the struggle that Justin was going through, he had to miss school, and he had, like, very high fever. Wow. That's how the song came about. Well, at least at least you, uh, you turned a negative into a positive. Yeah. Um, if people want to download your whole album or if they want to check you guys out online, is there a website or something we can send people to? Oh yeah, yeah. The Christies. dot com. The uh, you know www. dot the t h e Christies c r i s t e a s. dot com. Fantastic. Well, uh, we're gonna play some of your music. Uh, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on the broadcast. I'll let you guys get to your next gig there. Thank you so yeah. much. It was it was a pleasure to have you uh, having us on on your broadcast definitely i i appreciate it you guys have yourself a wonderful wonderful weekend that of course was the christies and uh apparently it's uh somebody's birthday today over there at the christies i don't know what's going on maybe maybe, maybe it was uh maybe it was their dad's birthday i don't know who knows uh it's world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast we are going to uh, play this song Fever here in just a few moments uh, if you want to find the Christie's on CD Baby go to cdbaby.com slash artist slash T-H-E-C-R-I-S-T-E-A-S and uh, find them over there and pick up some of their music and and uh, as, as Ross used to say do it up we had this conversation on the uh, on the uh, the other radio show, the, 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 the Red Nation show, the, the Daily Show, whatever you want to refer to it as, um, about uh, a uh, do it up. I don't know what the hell that term means. I know what I think it means. But there are children watching, I believe, so we're not going to say that here. Here is Fever, and it is the Christie's, and it is on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast.
the Christies with Fever here on our world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio broadcast, coast to coast to border to border, tune in iTunes Radio Loyalty, and of course the place where it all started, RadioZenu.com. We're going to take a brief time out, and when we come 